You already learned all the English vowel sounds. Now let's learn the diphthongs. If you watched our video, all the vowel sounds in English, you were probably thinking, hey, you forgot some. Well, those are diphthongs. What is a diphthong? Well, a diphthong is when we combine two vowel sounds together to make a new complex vowel sound. Let's give you an example. Our first diphthong is a combination of e and e. If you put those together, e, e, it makes a, a, a. But the sound broken down is e, e. E, 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 e. You probably recognize that sound as the name of the first letter of our alphabet, A. This sound shows up in spellings like these. We've got A with a consonant and an E after it. That makes the sound A. We've also got things like A plus I after it. That also makes the sound A. We're gonna make a video soon teaching you the rules of spelling and which vowel sounds are associated with which spellings. This video will be more in depth on all the different spellings that could have the sound A and the other vowel sounds that we're learning. Okay, our next diphthong is another one you were probably thinking was missing from our last video. This diphthong is ai, ai. Do you hear it already? Ai, ai, ai. This is the name of the alphabet letter I, I. And we're gonna see this pronunciation with I by itself as in the first person pronoun, I. We would also see this spelling with I followed by a consonant and an E, and also the spelling Y. And you would see this pronunciation with Y-E, like bye. Again, stay tuned for that video with more common spellings for the sound I. And our next diphthong is oi, 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 oi. Oi is really easy to predict in English spelling. It's usually either o plus i or o plus y. Another diphthong that I'll mention was actually in our vowel sounds video, and that is o, o, o. So as I mentioned in that video, Americans almost always use this diphthong. So instead of using a pure vowel like o, we almost always use o. I'll say though that o sound varies from speaker to speaker in how strong it is. Total has an O sound in the middle of a word. So here you would hear a little bit of that O sound at the end of O. So people might say total, total, but that would be pretty unusual. Instead, it's going to be a little bit less of a, it would be something like this, total, total. You can just see my lips go in a little bit for that ooh at the end. But at the same time, you wouldn't hear the completely pure vowel, total, total, total. But in words where it's a single syllable word, like toe, that w is much stronger. Toe. Toe. There's a w at the end that you can hear pretty clearly. Toe. Okay, our next diphthong is a combination of eu, 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 eu. And 
a lot of times when you think you might be just pronouncing ooh, you should actually be pronouncing the diphthong you. Let's look at some examples. This is a very commonly mispronounced word by international students. Almost every college has a student union, and I've heard a lot of students call it the onion or the union. But this is the diphthong, you, union. Another very common mispronunciation is computer. So it's not computer, remember, it's the diphthong. Computer, computer. So we've had a, a, i, i, o, e, oi, o, u, o, e, u, u. Well, those are the five diphthongs that I wanted to teach you today, so you've made it. You've learned them all. Now you should know every vowel sound that you hear in American English. If you didn't watch our video on all the American vowel sounds, check it out in the i box above or the description box below. Stay tuned for the rest of the pronunciation series. Next time, we're gonna be talking about sentence stress. Have a beautiful day. Did you like this video? Give us a thumbs up so we can make more videos. And don't forget to subscribe below so you can catch everything we're doing each week. Ring that bell so you know when there's a new video. And we'll see you in the classroom.